the European Football Championships recently, the entire focus of the mainstream media was on racism. It's almost as if just about everything nowadays is somehow related to racism. And this was no different. The media has gone into absolute overdrive, hyping this up as much as it can. The message, Britain is a racist country and racists, they must be punished. After the final, which England lost on penalties, a few of its black players were apparently racially insulted on social media. This is obviously wrong and any decent person would condemn it. But why is there no consistency? Why doesn't the media or politicians express outrage when white people are violently attacked or insulted or raped on our streets? Why? Because the current narrative is not about racial justice or equality. This is driven by a dangerous extreme left activism wing that intends to bring down Western society. To do that, they must bring down its majority, its white majority. There be in no doubt, white people are under relentless attack because the West is under relentless attack. This whole episode started when England players decided to get onto their knees at the behest of a group called Black Lives Matter. England take a knee in the campaign to eradicate racism from football. The English team last week taking a knee at their first match of the European Soccer Championship to a few boos from their own supporters. But the mixed reception is a clear indication that there is still work to be done. Black Lives Matter are a hard left neo-communist anarchist group who openly declare their intent to destroy our society. They are violent and they have destroyed lives and livelihoods. They make no attempt to hide who they are. They deface our monuments, burn our flags. It's there for all to see. Black Lives Matter is a destructive mob, but it's a very clever destructive mob. It has dressed its violent anarchy up as racial justice. That's why it gave itself the name Black Lives Matter, to pretend. But Black Lives Matter doesn't care about black lives lost in black on black violence. It doesn't care about black people bought and sold in slave markets by Muslims or other black people. Slavery that continues to this day. They are silent on that. They only riot and destroy property when they can blame white people for any grievance. That's what this is about. This group has already won the compliance of the media, most politicians, even sports stars. Now, during the European Championships, fans booed when players took to their knees. This, the press told us, meant those fans were racists. Home Secretary Priti Patel said she didn't like this bowing to Black Lives Matter. She has now been blamed for the racist messages received by England players. The press has gone for her jugular. Something very important is happening here. Black Lives Matter, via the media, has told Priti Patel that she is to be punished for not doing their bidding. They now attack her as a racist. This mob of thugs has been so successful in their deception. They have created a reality where if you don't do what they say, you will be a racist. And we all know what happens to racists. What an incredibly clever and incredibly evil trick to pull off. The attack on Priti Patel has put other politicians on notice. Do what is demanded of left-wing mobs or face our wrath. How many MPs in Parliament do you think will stand up to Black Lives Matter? How many do you think will call them out 
for what they are? My guess is none, zero, not one of them has the courage to do the right thing and stand up to the bullies. That's why we need new MPs in Parliament. This obsession with racism, which gets worse and worse by the day, is creating the greatest racial divide in Britain in my lifetime. It is turning black against white and white against black. It is creating racism. I suspect that's exactly what they want. Chaos, confusion, fear. It's the left-wing way. Stand up to this. Do not accept this. Do not tolerate anti-white hatred. Do not fall for the lies of the far left and Black Lives Matter. Someone has to take a stand at some point. It should be us and it should be now. Thank you for watching. If you agree with what you hear on 4 Britain videos, remember to like them, share them and subscribe to our channel. And why not follow us on social media as well? The relevant links are below. Thank you.